Buffalo milk is probably sitting where olive oil sat in the 70s. Um, it was taken as a medicine, wasn't really used, so. However, one in four uh, New Zealanders is Asian, and the Middle East Asian market are well aware of what a buffalo is. In fact, when you tell them you've got buffalo milk, they're like, no, nah, no, nah, there's no buffaloes here. They're like, they second guess you. I'm Shan Singh, I'm a dairy farmer in the Waipa region of the Waikato, third generation sheep and beef family background. My great grandfather, Fumran Singh, came over here um, just shortly before 1920. I think that's <laughs> Jachi's father. When he asked where is it, they said, oh, I'm not sure, it's the other side of Singapore somewhere. Basically he was going for an opportunity to have somewhere to buy land and uh, New Zealand fit that bill. That is dear. Oh, yeah. My father took over after the high school, um, like many farm kids have. After my stint um, studies and going abroad and everything, I have came back. Apart from the awesome rolling terrain and locality to everything, we have created a mixed business uh, to make life a little bit more interesting and exciting, uh, which a portion includes uh, winter milking and water buffaloes. Um, and we've had them for nearly two years now. We share milk them in conjunction with the owners of the buffalo. Uh, and the milk is used primarily for mozzarella production. They've got prehensile tails. So they, when they don't like you, they'll whip you. They'll let you know about it. <laughs> Being a bigger animal, um, they sort of like their own space a little more. These are a part swamp, part milking breed. So we're slowly trying to breed with the owners of the buffaloes, uh, breeding into the more um, dairy type buffalo so with, the, with the smaller horns. Akin to my memories of being in India as a uh, 10 year old just on a family holiday. That's where we got a taste for the buffalo product. One of my favourite questions is uh, what's different about buffalo milk? Well firstly, all the products are white. The cheese, the butter, everything's white. Digestibility wise it's very similar to goat's milk. The protein molecules are a lot smaller and um, it's very much higher in digestible fat. Yeah, it's good stuff. Buffalo is actually in fact the second most uh, consumed milk in the world. So um, we sort of saw an opportunity there with, with another sort of unique niche product and also to the, make farming a little bit more fun um, rather than just the same old black, black and white magpie coloured cows every day to have another opportunity at uh, doing something on the side. Come on guys, one at a time. We feed them on cow's milk and yeah they're fine. Integrating them in with the dairy cows at a very young age they just totally accustomed like most a lot of other animal species which is um, easier for us to manage that's for sure however they are really uh, mentally locked into feeding off the mums so getting them onto a rubber teat even just sucking your finger with milk on it all the little tricks some of them will just refuse I normally leave the feeder here because the calves obviously don't want to leave the feeder even when they're full they haven't got the memo yet I think the element of uh, New Zealand pastoral farming can be a bit boring and a bit lonely for some people sometimes and I think for me um, adding that element does add an arrow to our bow. We are doing a three hour adventure right today um, so we are actually riding to the top of the world I call it. It's the highest point of our farm and you've got the most beautiful 360 degree view over the Waikato region. I'm Nicole Singh, I'm the owner operator of a horse trekking tourism business on our farm. We are married since 2016, so for five years now. And um, it all started with buying my first horse here. Just to take your feet off the stirrup. The idea slowly came that you know I should do something here on the farm and uh, maybe offer horse tracks. And just ride a little loop and see how it feels. We've got so much land here, so why not use it for different things as well, not only for farming, for tourism as well, and for horse riding, my biggest passion. Ultimately, it'd be great to have something that's not uh, farm related at all, um, but to use the farm to maximise um, its opportunities, whether that's trees, forests, um, hunting, fishing, 
farm stays. Um, I think it's all got to be considered a little more now um, in, in the modern farming model. It's also, I think, a responsibility of uh, people within the industry like ourselves to actually um, showcase what food production is, what a food chain is, what the rivers actually look like out here. I want to do even more for the horse community because uh, it gets harder and harder for people with their own horses to ride. In summarising, I suppose it's yeah, kids, cattle and colts. <laughs> um, if we can just focus on that model, I think we could, we could do it sustainably, I think.